Hey everybody, this is Jared with the Enphase Training Team. We're going to do a series of short videos on some great installation best practices around the IQ Combiner 6C as well as the IQ Battery 10C. So with that, let's jump in. All right, the first thing we're going to talk about is the drain wire in the control cable. First off, what is the drain wire in the control cable? Well, all it is, it's a wire that connects to the shielding and it helps remove electrical noise. Within the fourth generation system, you'll see that we utilize two different kinds of control cable connectors. There's a four pin connector that's used in the meter collar, and the other one is a five pin connector that's used in the combiner 6C and the battery 10C. For the control connector of the IQ meter collar, drain wire connection is not required. You'll see that the five pin connector has a terminal labeled with the letter D. This is where you'll land the drain wire. Remember that when you're connecting the control cable between devices, you'll only connect the drain wire at one end of each cable segment between devices, and then cut the drain wire on the other side. As a word of caution, never wire or insert a connector while the system is energized. Doing so may damage the equipment. So I'm standing in front of the battery 10C and I've got the control cable connector in my hand. And when we go to connect it into the header, we wanna make sure that it is aligned properly. We don't wanna have it off center. We wanna make sure that it goes in. We push down firmly and you listen for those clicks. Once you hear those clicks, go ahead and do a slight tug test to make sure that it's secure. If it's not secure, you may have provisioning issues where the battery will not get detected by the gateway during your commissioning steps. All right, I'm over here at the meter collar now and I have the control cable connector here and we're going to plug it into the the uh, header and what we want to do is we want to make sure that it's also properly aligned uh, you it is pretty easy to have it misaligned and have it off by a single pin you don't want to do that so you want to make sure that you have all pins squared up properly go ahead and start to push that in and again it's going to click into place listen for those clicks to make sure it's fully seated do a little tug test to make sure it's secure and you're good to go now, when it comes to the meter collar, you'll want to pay special attention when inserting the connector into the header, since the header is typically in an awkward location to look at. This connector and header can accidentally have their pins misaligned, and you may feel that the connector goes into the header, but the two have not been connected correctly. A tug test may alert you to the error when the connector pulls out of the header. If it doesn't come out of the header during your tug test, you may not catch that error until you commission the system. So there you have it, some great tips when working with a control cable in the fourth gen system from Enphase. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or specific topics you want us to cover for the fourth gen system.